You may hear me say this in every video. I mean, honestly, like in my next 1,000 videos, this could come up as a topic in every single video. Because see, in, on the inside of you, like only you know what you're capable of. Hell, no one else knows what you're capable of but you. Nobody knew that I could build this but me. I know what's inside me. So why would I worry about what anyone else thinks about me? Hey guys, what's going on? Andy Elliott. In this video, I'm gonna give you six signs why you won't be rich. Now, I'm pretty sure some of you are like, okay, Andy, how can you tell? Well, just watch the video. And then after I give you these six signs, I guarantee you can think he's right. Guys, listen to me. I'm not gonna say I'm rich because there's different levels of different stuff. I've built a nine figure business. Every single thing right here that I'm about to tell you if you want to get rich, okay, if you do, if you really want to create wealth in your family, I'm going to give you these six signs, and I want you to be real careful that none of these things are in your life. And by the way, they are. Fix it. Are you ready? All right, so number one, first sign that you won't be rich. Your attitude freaking sucks. Your attitude sucks. Dude, I'm going to tell you right now, you guys, you watch me all the time. I have 2,000 videos on YouTube. Somebody tell me what kind of attitude I have. Somebody tell me from the first video to the 2000 video, go to Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, LinkedIn, go to any YouTube, go to any channel, come meet me in person. Tell me what kind of attitude I have. I have a good attitude. I'm telling you the key to getting rich is having a good attitude. The number one reason why you won't be rich is your attitude sucks. So that's going to be number one. These aren't in any specific order. It's not number one to number six. I'm just giving you the six that I know. Okay, guys, number two, you think rich people are special. <laughs> Do listen to me. Rich people aren't special. There's nothing special about rich people. They just do the work. One day, that person who was a normal person, they woke up and go, man, you know what? I think I want to put a financial fence around my family. I think that I want to study more. I think I want to become more. I think that I want to do things differently. I think I, think I want to do more. I want to get out there, okay? You think rich people are special. No one is any more qualified than you to become rich. I'm just telling you, it doesn't matter. So a big sign why you won't be rich is because you think these people are special, that they're built with something that you're not built with. If you think built different is waking up earlier, working harder, having a better attitude, giving more, being a part of the team, right? That's not built different. If that is built different, they're built different because they earned it, but not because they started out any different than you. So if you think that rich people, right, are different, they're not different, they're the same as you, all right? There's nothing special about them. All right, number three, you listen to every single thing that your parents tell you to do. I see this all the time, man, okay? If you wanted to become a professional baseball player or if you wanted to get in the NFL, right? And I wasn't in the NFL or if I were a professional baseball player, don't take that advice from me. I didn't do it. I might be a fan of the NFL or a, being a, an NBA player or baseball player, NBA. I, I might w love golf and I could tell you about Tiger Woods, but if I didn't win the Masters, like, don't take advice from me if you want to become a pro in golf. Does that make sense? So look at your parents right now. I, I, I love your parents. I'm sure they gave their best um, to, to help raise you and everything. What are they good at? If your parents aren't multimillionaires, Okay, if they're not multimillionaires, you don't want to take business advice from your parents who aren't multimillionaires how to become a multimillionaire. Does that make sense? So I wrote this down. You listen to every single thing that your parents tell you to do. I love your parents. I'm a father, but I'm not gonna tell I'm not gonna tell my son if he wants to play baseball, this is how he's gotta swing the bat. I'm gonna tell him to go listen to his coach. You know why? Because if his coach was a badass in baseball, he needs to be taking advice from his coach that's a badass in baseball, not his father in baseball. Now, can I be his father? Sure. But not giving him how to swing the bad advice because I didn't do that very well myself. Does that make sense? So a sign that you won't be very well is that you, you listen to every single thing that your parents tell you to do, okay? Oh, don't do that. I wouldn't do that. That's a scam. Okay, cool. Are your parents where you want to be? No? Okay. 
look, you might want to try something different or else you might be subscribing to a whole life. Like my parents, okay, they're not financially set. They live check to check. So I'm just saying, if I want to subscribe to that life, living check to check my whole life, well then guess what? Listen to your parents and that's probably what you'll get. Does that make sense? Okay, you guys got me? All right, number four, you don't spend enough time learning. Damn, I should have made that number one. Okay, number four, you don't spend enough time learning. You know, we were talking about going through like history, right? Like, and I don't mean history like back in the day, but go through the history on your Google. Like go to Google and I would go to search on your history, go to the search bar and type in history and it will tell me what you're searching for, what your mind wants. Is it education? Is it entertainment? Is it bullshit? We could go to YouTube, right? And I'm just gonna give an example. Let's go to your YouTube search history. Let's go to the last 20 videos and then let's label them entertainment category, education category. If it's 50-50, I'm going to tell you this. You're not interested in education and learning, okay? You don't spend enough time learning. You got bullshit going on. It's just the truth. I was telling somebody the other day, I said, is your entertainment budget higher than your education budget? I said, basically, we'll go through your bank statement, right? And we'll go through how much money you spend in the mall, how much money you spend, you know, bullshit around versus how much money you spend self-investing on yourself. If you want to become rich, you will self-educate. You will spend money on yourself nonstop. You don't spend enough time learning, okay? That's going to be number four. Number five, you're an expert at making excuses. You're the best excuse maker on planet Earth. This is a sign why you won't be rich because every time you get an opportunity to grow, you know what? You make an excuse. Oh, it's not the right time. Once I finish this, then I'm going to do that. Yeah, but you don't understand. Shut up, man, okay? You're an expert. You're a pro. You're not a pro in, in, in being successful. You're not a pro in being rich. You're a pro at making excuses. You're the best I've ever seen, okay? Guys, if that's you, that is, that's number five. That is a big sign that you'll need to fix now or else you'll never become rich. And by the way, if you're watching this video and you're like, dude, man, like I wanna change my life. Like I wanna go to the next level. Like I wanna crush it. I wanna kill it. Like I wanna get rich. I wanna have a rich life. I wanna get rich. I wanna be financially set up. If that's you, if you're dead serious about that, okay? I built a nine figure business in the last three to four years. That's what I teach people to do. I teach sales, I teach leadership, I, I teach how to grow a sales team, I teach culture, I teach how to recreate your life and become someone else, okay? If that's what you wanna do and you like my style, and you'd be like, dude, I'd love to have Andy Elliott coach me. Guys, go to the description box below. You're going to see down in the YouTube description link. There's a little deal that says coach with Andy. Click on it. You're going to answer a couple questions, and I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. Listen, if you're serious, that's how you can coach with me, okay? All right, guys, so number six, you worry too much about what other people think about you. That's a problem. You're not ever going to be rich if you're worrying about what other people think about you. You may hear me say this in every video. I mean, honestly, like in my next 1,000 videos, this could come up as a topic in every single video. Because see, in, on the inside of you, like only you know what you're capable of. Hell, no one else knows what you're capable of but you. Nobody knew that I could build this but me. I know what's inside me. So why would I worry about what anyone else thinks about me? Like that would be, that would be foolish. That would be stupid. Does that make sense? Guys, so please stop worrying about what other people think about you, okay? If what I'm telling you, you believe in, attack, go all in, and guess what? They may laugh at you now, but you'll be laughing your way to the bank later. You hear me? All right, guys, at the beginning of this video, I told you that I was going to give you six, and I decided I'm going to add another one. I'm going to give you seven. Because this is really when I started to get rich and I changed my life. I went from making two and a half million to building a nine figure plus business. I 50X my income. And one thing was a part of all this. It changed my intentions. My, my intentions changed. You know, when I was younger, I wanted to make money. I honestly would tell you in sales, you guys have probably been around salespeople, I have commission breath. They want to make money, they want to make the sale, they want to close, they want to do all this. I, I changed my intentions as I got later in life and I realized that I wanted to help people, okay? Like, hey, of course I want to make money. I mean, who doesn't, right? And I wanted to have a big life and I had big goals and I was, you know, I was ready to make bold moves and, you know, like I was hungry. But the biggest thing is, is that I was most hungry about helping other people. And so I started to care about people more than they cared about themselves. And I started to really study, research, learn, have a good attitude, do all these things, go outside the box, make bold moves so that I could be a leader for other people. And I wanted to be an industry expert in a certain field. 
and that was being the best in sales and being the best in leadership. And I wanted to take the pressure out of the deal whenever people were buying stuff. And I wanted to teach other people to do that because the whole world operates around sales. And whenever I changed my intentions to helping people, guess what happened? Boom! Blew up. And uh, you could call it rich at certain levels, but I'm doing pretty well financially. I wanna tell every single one of you, please, okay? Each one of these things is a sign that could prevent you from getting rich. It is a sign. And I added the last one, which is make sure that your intentions are good. When your intentions are good, everything changes. It was like a level of maturity that I needed, and when I got it, bam! This whole new life unleashed. So, I love you guys. If you found yourself in any one of these six to seven signs I just went over, guess what? Self-assess change. The person that can self-correct is forever wealthy. Okay? Look in the mirror, own your shit, find these buckets of little holes that you can fix, and guess what? Your life will go to another level. So, if you need help, if you want to push yourself, if you need an edge, guys, go down to the description box below, click on the link, Coach with Andy, answer a couple questions so I can get to know you, and I'll reach out with you, and I'll make a game plan. Guys, I love you. Please send a comment below. Tell me what you thought about this video. Which one was your favorite? By the way, share it with somebody that you know that needs a little bit of help in this area. Have a blessed day. I'll see you in the next video.